Hi folks, how you doing? So out today with uh, Kings of Mercy and Metal Detecting Club and we're at Chillington Hall. You can probably see it over there. Check that out for review. Don't get to uh, do the grounds of a stately home very often, do you? <laughs> Big thank you to Boo, as always. Check out that fella. He's a beast, isn't he? It's my finger. He's a good size. Looks like he could possibly munch me. Let me know what you think he is. Possibly some kind of stag beetle larva, maybe. Devil's coach horse could be, I suppose. Let's pop him back in the ground in a minute. Today, I brought the Maximo out. I don't know if you can see her down there. There she is. Because the car's parked way up there. That's hell of a walk for me. Hell of a walk. And I wanted to do this bottom end of the field because we've had a rally here before. And because I stay close to the car, I've been up in that top bit up there. And obviously, you've got as much chance of finding stuff anywhere. But I really want to do this bottom bit. There's a lake down over there. And I really want to do this bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So jumped on the Maximo. I've powered down a good, I don't know, about a thousand meters or more. And I'm on this hill. I've already had two buttons and a washer. So I'm in the right zone, aren't I? The Equinox 600 is doing the job. It's finding those little round things. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed people. Right, I'm going to get to it, and if I have anything interesting, I'll let you know. Hi folks, how you doing? So I just had a great signal, brilliant signal, up in the 20s, and I was like, what the hell's that? So I dug away, and I've gone into the hole. Can't find it. Can't find it anywhere. I'll turn the camera around and show you. So I've pinpointed it. Can't find it absolutely anywhere. Can't find it at all. I've had a good old route around. And I'm thinking, what's up with the machine? It was a banging signal. Gone over it again with the machine, absolutely nothing can't find it and I kid you not this is the truth right just out of the corner of my eye I saw that it's stuck to the spade so when I've taken the spade out and put it to one side I've taken the find out with it <laughs> oh dear I don't know what we've got Should have my gloves on really, but I took them off with the camera. I can't make it out. It's a bit crusty. I'll have to clean it up and show you. But it's obviously a penny of some sort or a token. Hey! <laughs> well, it's the first coin artifact of the day. Thank you very much, Chillington. Hi folks, how you doing? Oh, it's warm. I'm not quite sure what time it is. It can't be much after 10 o'clock in the morning. But I tell you what, I'm sweating already. Whew. Just come to have a sit down and then reassess. I had a couple of buttons. I had a little coin, crusty one. I had a load of shotgun cartridges. Um, they come up like a lovely like 10 to 12 signal um, on the knocks. And you got to dig them, especially in a place like this, you've got to dig it. You can't be walking over 10s and 12 signals in the uh, front garden of a stately home, can you? Uh, so I've had a few of them. Uh, I don't know where to go now, I'm thinking going back up the hill. Uh, but I'm a bit pooped, so I'm having a rest. Uh, but I also want to get over to the lake over there. So, hmm, where, where, where should I go? So, just down there is a lake. And there's a nice bit of a hill up there. That was the hill that I was just on. There. 
and there's plenty to go at. I mean, you could quite easily just stay on that hill all day <laughs> and be quite happy. But I did say that today I was going to move around a bit and go to the places that I haven't been before. So that's the plan. But I might have a quick bomb up that hill and have a look at the far side, way, way over there. Spin the camera and I'll show you. So you probably can't make it out, but there's a few people over in that corner, probably about, I don't know, four or five hundred metres away. So I might disappear off there in a minute. Nice thing about having the scooter with me is I've got my rucksack on the back of it. So I haven't got to lump that lump, lump, lump can't get my words out. I haven't got to lump that round with me. I've got my drinks in there. I can put my scrap in there. You know, if I find a horseshoe, we can go in there. It hasn't got to go on my back for all day or till I get to a, a bin. What an absolutely gorgeous day and what an absolutely gorgeous place. Sorry if the camera's a bit wobbly. Check it out. So that is me done for the day. To be perfectly honest, I am absolutely shattered. The uh, Maxmo has really helped me out though because I got to go on that bit down there that I hadn't been on before. Uh, there is a half gold guinea come out. Uh, I've seen a hammered. Um, I haven't got pictures because it's only fair that the other people that do YouTube and whatever else uh, show you that, not me. But yeah, plenty of stuff has come out. But you know what, as always, it's just nice to be outside, isn't it? It's not always about finding things, as I say. I know I'll probably bore some of you to tears with uh, constantly going on about, you know, how good it is to be outside. But when you're like me and, you know, just going for a walk with the dogs or whatever isn't possible, days like today are perfect. And it, don't forget, it doesn't matter what we do, it doesn't matter what we find, it doesn't matter what we catch when we go fishing, it doesn't matter what we grow on our allotments or in our gardens. As always, all I say is get outside and live your life. Because we only get one, so let's go live it. Cheers folks, take care, speak soon. This is my finds from yesterday. Obviously I didn't do videos of every single hole that I dug. In fact, I don't think I did videos of any because... I wanted to get on to be honest, I wanted to uh, carry on, you know, detecting and sometimes when you get in the camera in and out, in and out, in and out, you know, it's counterproductive and I wasn't finding anything that was massively exciting so it seemed a bit silly to be, you know, constantly filming holes, um, bore you to death really watching me dig out shotgun cartridge ends, <laughs> but this will give you an idea of probably an, an average days metal detecting um, you're not going to find silver every single day um, but this is what I've had anyway so here we are this is a day's worth of detecting as you can see we have the uh, the junk the shotgun cartridges and is there six seven of those we have a bolt or a nut should I say uh, and a strange bit of iron um, they were iffy signals and it's just, I'm going to dig them just to see what they were. We have some lead and some, I don't know if that's bronze or something, no idea what this is. Some kind of weight, lead, it's got dirt in the inside of it but it's a sealed unit, it's not folded. don't know if it's a skirt weight or something, maybe, no idea. Uh, then we have the collection of buttons and again I quite like finding buttons. Find buttons, you know people have been there, don't you? So when you find buttons, you know there's human activity. Same with little bits of lead, really. Not quite sure what this is. Is it a spindle wheel, maybe? I don't know. No idea about that. There's a cut musket ball. There. And then we have two crusty Georges. Nothing on them. Absolutely nothing on them. They're uh, long since had it. But still, 
when you're pulling things out of the ground that shape and size you're in the right zone aren't you it's not long before you uh, hit something pretty special but at the end of the day as the saying goes you've got to walk over it <laughs> you know your metal detector doesn't lead you to the hammered coins you have to walk over it and you have to dig it out of the ground and obviously yesterday I didn't walk over it.